Hello, I'm Nicholas. In this video, I'll be talking about a subtopic of morphology, which is free morpheme. Now, morphology is a branch of linguistics that concerns about how words are formed and their relationship to other words in the same language. Morphology analyzes the structure of words and its parts, and one of these parts are free morphemes. Now, morpheme. Morpheme is a meaningful morphological unit of a language that cannot be further divided. In other words, it is the smallest meaningful unit in a language. Though we cannot divide morpheme any further, we could, however, categorize morphemes into two main types, which are bound morphemes and free morphemes. In this video, the subject of interest will be free morphemes. So what is it? Free morphemes are morphemes, which is the element of words, that can stand alone as words itself. In other words, free morphemes are words, basically. Free morphemes are sometimes also called unbound morphemes or freestanding morphemes. Many words in English are indeed a free morpheme. Say for example the sentence, I need to go now. Now, if you look closely, we notice that all the words in the sentence I need to go and now are, all can stand on their own. You can say I and it has meaning. It has meaning. It means I'm referring to myself, I. And then need. It could have it could stand on its own. You could say need and it has a meaning. Right. For comparison, the word quickest, for example can be divided into two morphemes, quick and the ending EST. Now, we'll take a look at this example. Now, this quick and EST ending are both morphemes. The difference is, quick is a free morpheme, just like the one we have discussed earlier, and the ending EST, which makes the word superlative, is a bound morpheme, meaning that the ending EST cannot stand on its own and have a meaning. So it must be paired to another morpheme. In this case, we pair the EST ending to quick to form quickest, the word quickest, but the ending EST itself cannot stand on its own. Now you may have realized, oh, so three morphemes are basically root words and they are single syllables. And indeed you are right, well, for the most part, now, while free morphemes are mostly root words and are single syllables, free morphemes can also come in a polysyllabic form. For example, we take a look at these words berry and giraffe. Now, these two words, berry, for example, we, although it is a two-syllable word, we cannot divide berry any further. For example, we say bear and re, that wouldn't make any sense. It must come together as berry to become a meaningful word as well as giraffe. How could you define the word giraffe? You couldn't. You couldn't define any further. So giraffe is a free morpheme. So that was it for this video on free morphemes. I have been Nicholas, and see you again.